Hello, John. This is your mother. Now listen to this. Once upon a time in the land of handsome princes, noble kings and beautiful princesses, there also live a wicked witch. A wily wolf and a ginormous giant. Deep in the forest was the vilest of all. A wicked witch! Who casts another evil spell. Once upon a time, there was a poor little girl who everybody called Little Snow Girl because that was her name. Her parents, who had loved her very much, had both died many years before and the little girl was forced to scrub and clean for a witch. And how the old witch made the Snow Girl work. You should be grateful. Someone took you in. But the little snow girl would have given anything to be free from the witch. She would have given an elephant. It was winter. Oh, and outside the snow lay thick and crisp over the fields and hedgerows. The local children had built a lovely snowman with a hat on his head and an old clay pipe in his mouth. In his snowy hand, he held a little bunch of twigs. Meanwhile, the witch was going to the grand Christmas ball and for days had been selecting clothes to wear, trying them on in front of a large mirror. Yes, black, I think, this year. I think that suits me best. Mind you, I expect the dreadful witch from the other village will be wearing black as well. I'd better have a posy of flowers to set it off with. Child, go outside and collect me a posy of fresh flowers this instant. It was no use complaining. She put on her warmest jacket and dejectedly let herself out of the cottage into the bitter winter cold. Eventually, she arrived at the snowman the children had made. It seemed to her that the smile on his face had turned to a sad expression. Don't look so sad, snowman. Your situation could hardly be worse than mine. Maybe it's because you're so cold that you look so sad. Saying this, she took off her jacket and wrapped it around the freezing shoulders of the snowman. What a kind little child you are. The witch wants a posy of flowers and I don't know where I'll find them. There's no problem. Here, take my little bundle of twigs. And as she held out the twigs, it started to snow. Huge blobby snowflakes like the petals of a white flower. As they settled on the twigs, they froze like crystals until it seems she held a posy of beautiful white flowers. Oh, thank you, Mr. Snowman. And she trudged back through the snow towards the witch's cottage. The witch seemed pleased with the posy, although she had to find a complaint somewhere. 
Couldn't you find any red or yellow flowers, child? Stan, I suppose they'll do. Her voice trailed away as one by one the little white flowers melted in the warmth of the cottage. Wicked girl, screamed the witch. Who will partner me without a posy of flowers? Go and find me a partner for the ball. Don't come back till you've found one. Once again, the little snow girl trudged out into the snow and back to the kind snowman. I think I'll have to borrow my jacket back now. I've got to go and look for a partner for the witch to take to the ball. I got a friend who might help you. He'd make a perfect partner for the witch. He told the little girl to return to the cottage and tell the witch her partner would be along in a moment. And so, the little girl trusted him and went back to the cottage to see the witch. Where is he? demanded the witch as the girl tried to explain that he would be along in a moment. As she spoke, a low moaning noise could be heard outside the cottage. Doesn't seem to be happy, does he? grumbled the witch as the moaning intensified until it was a gentle roar, then a medium roar, and then a deafening roar. Witch's screaming faded away. The little snow girl rushed out to thank the snowman, but alas, he was gone. Blown away by the very wind he had summoned to help the little girl. All that was left was his clay pipe and a pile of snow that had been his legs. The little snow girl returned to the cottage, sad but relieved. And you can still sometimes hear the witch dancing with the wind in the chimney when the north wind blows. Each with super rad special powers on the road fighting monsters and hanging out being cool. This is 